Hi, my name is Fred Becker, Director of Becker Institute, and I'm here to help you raise self-reliant and responsible children to show you how to create pro-social opportunities so that your child can develop the social-emotional skills they will need to live happy, successful, and healthy lives. So let's go to today's email and see what question we have for the day. This comes from a mother in Paris, Texas. My 13-year-old son and I have been drifting apart. We used to play and talk, and in the last two years, we haven't been doing as much. He has become more distant. I've tried to talk with him and to do things together, but nothing seems to work out. What can I do to get this relationship back again? Sign, Lalinda. Well, Lalinda, this happens a lot to most parents as children get older. Your child's changing, and as they change, they start to separate from you. This usually starts to occur for girls around the age of nine and for boys about the age of 12. They're looking out into society and seeing how they fit in and the role at home becomes less important. Now this creates trauma for you because you as the caregiver, the mom, your role is diminished and the child doesn't depend on you as much. The thing you have to also realize about your child at this moment is that this young man has one foot on one side of the relationship and the other foot on the other. In other words, at one moment this child wants you to be with them and wants to talk to you and wants you to be their friend and in the next moment they don't want anything to do with you. In other words, it's like one emotion one time and one emotion another and this will drive you nuts. But understanding this is a transition from one phase of childhood into adulthood and this will happen and continue to happen for this young man probably over the next four to five years. But let's look at how to increase the relationship with your son. For a healthy relationship there are five components. The first component is touch and so I want to concentrate on that one today. And to increase the relationship with your child all as I want you to do is one simple thing. Hug your child every day. This is what we call a unconditional hug. Let your child know that you're going to hug him every day. There is one cardinal rule I want you to follow though. If your child is over the age of nine, you never ever hug them in public without asking permission first. Remember what I said, one day he'll want to be hugged, the next day he won't. So in public you don't know who's watching or you don't know what peer group he wants to impress. So always ask the question, it's okay to hug you. If he says no, don't. Now when you're in the privacy of your own home, go hug him at any time you want. At some point your son will probably say, you know mom, you don't have to hug me to make me feel good. Your response is very simple. You say, I'm not hugging you to make you feel good, I'm hugging you to make me feel good. This takes a lot of pressure off this child to have them understand it's not about him, it's about you. So you want to do this consistently every day. If you do, you will find that your relationship will be stronger. Start with this first and see if this doesn't help this relationship to develop into something more substantial than it is now. For more information, visit online at beckerinstitute.com.